Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. No. This man tried to, he sent me a guide or whatever. It was a whole bunch of words that I'm just like, okay, well, can you simplify the shit so I can understand? He ain't never tried to teach me how to do none of that. He literally sent me a guide that he sent everybody on OnlyFans. And honestly, when he send them people that stuff, it's just like, it looked like some shit where you really just gotta self-teach yourself. It is, that's what it is. It's you're, you self-teach yourself. He going on Fiverr, find the little guys that he ain't even reading all the way through. You know what I'm saying? He going to other people's YouTube videos that talk about credit that ain't got as much subscribers. Like basically, Kevin was like a culture vulture. Like he, he looks at, he studies people that ain't got his, the following that he got, and he take their whole sauce. Cause even me, like, He's trying to figure out how the fuck did I go viral with no money. You know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck she go viral just crying and stuff, talking about relationship stuff and emotions. And then when I get on YouTube, he couldn't understand why people wasn't bashing me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he felt like they should have. Cause he can't come on YouTube and say he fucked up and people, people gonna clown the fuck out of him. And you know why? It's not because they like me more, I'm better and I'm above. It's because his ass is such a fucking bully and evil individual. And he talks so much shit, even when he go live, all this man do is go live just to bully his fans. He'll be live like, oh, what's in your refrigerator? Let me see what's in your refrigerator again. Why the fuck is you trying to worry about what's in a man's refrigerator? Like, you were never fucked up. Like, when you got out of jail, you didn't have to start over from the, from the bottom. We had a link card too. You know what I'm saying? We had to cook home cooked meals too. Well, I had to cook, you know. Don't, don't act like, he, he just act like he forgot his little humble beginning too right after jail, cause that man wasn't up, you know? So he trying to understand like, why the fuck they not going on dying? You know what I'm saying? Trying to paint this picture like she ain't innocent. I ain't never said I was innocent, but the certain shit that I did, first of all, I never fucked nobody over. Let's start there. But it's like certain things that I did, they could just tell was kept on mind controlling me. And they, it's like they, they had empathy. Once I opened my mouth and I let them know what was going on, they like, no, nah, Dime didn't deserve this. Kevo was the fucking problem, you know? So then he tried to like, use like my, still use my pain or whatever, and me just documenting my life or whatever, what's going on. Like how he really got me put out, me and his, his son, you know what I'm saying? My daughter, or do my dog or whatever, put out and stuff. And he tried to, he seen me talking about relationship stuff and then he like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna use that too. And I'm gonna try to spin it like, oh yeah, you know, let me still paint the bad narrative of dying but not say her name. But and he ain't even did that with me. Like even with the credit people, like he go on other people's credit videos that ain't got as much subscribers. It'll be like a whole like white man or something. Somebody that he know the, the black community ain't gonna look at anyway. Cause let's be honest, like they want to see it come from one of their own. So they could be more related to, like it could be more relatable to them, you know? Yeah. He just find little stuff like that, and then he just mix up the words a little bit, put it out on his content, and just finesse. He ain't making nobody rich and millionaires. If that was the case, who would have been the first person? Yeah. Me. So, you know, what went wrong? Because, you know, it seemed like it was a time when things was good. You know, y'all got <clears throat> got married, got you like a $100,000 chain. Uh, well, first of all, let's, let's, start, let's stop there before you finish, because that chain was not worth no dang hundred thousand dollars. I was not there when he bought it. You're talking about the Cuban chain, right, with the dime? Yeah, that Cuban, that's not even a Cuban. Like, I didn't even bring it. I, I, I sold my Rolex. So, okay, this is the thing with the Rolex. The Rolex, he, it was like an older watch or whatever. He had bought that off a dude who was fucked up. So, I think he, I think Kevo ended up paying like, he, he told me he paid 17000 for that Rolex. That Rolex was valid, but that's because it came from somebody else who bought that stuff from the actual jeweler, and it was actually valid. When I took it to, you know, to sell it or whatever, they gave me like 10000 for it or whatever. It had water damage or whatever, and it was like a real old and outdated or whatever, but they confirmed that that was real. When I gave him my chain, the actual chain, the link or whatever, it's called a Cuban link. Yeah. It, that shit was in, they gave me that shit back talking about this ain't even real gold. You know, so whatever whatever this metal is, mm -hmm. and then... Uh, Are you able to confirm what the metal is? Yeah, right now I can tell you what it is. Okay. Okay, so this is silver. Silver. So what it's is not that? Gold. It's not gold? No. These are not diamonds. So the, the chain isn't real? The chain, that's why, because it's silver. Uh-huh. They don't put real diamonds in silver. I've never, I've never seen it. Uh huh. Um, these are not. See, they're not lighting up like the other ones. Mm hmm. It's not going green and. See. So and then it's not doing what this one's doing. Okay. Wait. Oh, you're so small. That... See how it's holding and saying diamond. Mm hmm.
Do not. So you could just keep it. So I'm like, what? Like they didn't I thought, want to buy it. They didn't want to buy the, the actual link. Then they, they was interested in my charm. But the lady who had who was doing business with me, she was like, uh, she had to get her kids and stuff. So she didn't have enough time to like really look at that. But it's like the fact that they even had the question to chain the white go. It was like, okay, now we really got to look into this uh, this piece, the charm or whatever. Because she was trying to tell me like, she don't believe that all of it is real. She feel like it's a mixture. So that's why I'm just like, I don't know. That's, I don't want to come on here and say like if the charm ain't, ain't it or whatever. And this ain't no shade to the to the jewel either because I'm pretty sure that Kevo has something to do with that shit because he was always talking about most of nights when he got out of jail. I don't even know what most of nights is, but I just remember him talking about some shit. I know Kevo tried to finesse shit, you know? Yeah. So I'm not even going to come for the jeweler who made that because whatever happened with my piece, I'm pretty sure it was because of what Kevo discussed with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I, I am actually going to take my chain because if, if, it's, if that chain is really worth $100,000, I should not be struggling right now. I should be able to buy me a home right now, as they said in the live when they tried to go on me. Like, oh, yeah, go sell your chain and buy a home. Okay, well, I'm going to go sell my chain because I already sold the watch. I was holding off on the chain because I was trying to save it for a rainy day, you know? Yeah. But um, I'm actually finna go try to like sell that chain tomorrow, and I want to see if they really gonna give me. I know they probably gonna be able to give me a hundred thousand if that's what it was worth originally, but I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be too far off. I, I should be able to get like what? I don't know. I don't do business Say like that. Something. Like, at least like eighty thousand or something. At least fifty. It shouldn't be under fifty. So I'm gonna I'm definitely go to the jeweler or whatever, get it appraised, and I'm gonna get it appraised too. I'm a I'm gonna try not to go to somebody who finna buy it because I know how they like to like let fem when the female come in there they like yeah. to finesse. So I'm gonna try to get it from I'm gonna get it appraised by somebody who ain't even trying to buy it from me, just to even confirm the actual value because I don't even want that to be a topic like oh yeah it was because she was a female and they Matter trying fact, to finesse record her. Record a video that we can throw it. Yeah, in I am. Room. But in all honesty, that first jeweler that I tried to and I sold her my watch. That's what I'm saying. If they buy my watch, why would they try to finesse? But you know I still am a female. I, I could see they'll try to still finesse regardless. But. They tried to offer me for my charm. They didn't want the chain because they said it wasn't real gold. For my charm, they offered me twenty one hundred dollars for that dime, ch that dime charm. Yeah. Twenty one hundred dollars. I was shocked. I'm like, hell no, I'm not finna sell. I might as well keep it if you finna give me twenty one hundred dollars in. Still wear the shit, you know. Yeah. So I'm gonna definitely double back on that because if <laughs> I it definitely need be, that money. Uh, you know, a lot of people, they. They wear silver and they it look like white gold, but it's not. I think yeah. like gold is like seventy times more than silver, mm -hmm. but they kind of look similar. Yeah. So people See. would do that and put either fake diamonds, real diamonds on, or whatever. But yeah. they be. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I don't. I'm not into jewelry. Honestly, the only reason why I got the chain is because of Kevo, the lifestyle, the image that he wanted me to have. Because he always was telling me like, yeah, you got to do this on a bad bitch level. Like even if I read to y'all some of the messages. Even still what I'm doing, he came at me for doing my YouTube and being authentic and organic and just showing them my real life instead of lying to y'all now. He mad at me for doing this. He like, the weak ass shit you doing on YouTube now, I tried to have you doing that on a bad bitch level. He, he think I'm supposed to walk around with all these big badass girls. Not No shades to girls that's you know bad as fuck or whatever with their bodies done, but he feel like I'm just supposed to be with these girls just because how they look. Like I don't operate like that. I operate on people's hearts and their character. Like I really look at people for people, you know? And, yeah. and he mad that I'm even connecting with my fans. He feel like all my fans is regulars and you doing regular ass shit and catering to regular people. Who, who am I supposed to cater to? Like, cause these girls with these badass bodies that he around now that he's buying off, they just don't give a fuck about him. Let some shit, real shit happen. They is going to be gone. Like I'm going to stay with my people. I, I learned my lesson. I don't fold on my people, you know? And I, I look at my, my audience that even watch me on YouTube, them like, I consider them my family. Like they part of the reason that helped me keep going, you know? Yeah. So do you feel like he wanted you to, uh, move that way because like the way he make money is his image in a way so it's Absolutely. like absolutely you gotta look yeah because to be honest y'all like i don't even think kevo was genuinely i know kevo wasn't genuinely dumb with me the only issue was that i didn't know how to scam had i known how to scam these problems would have never occurred like because i never did nothing to him like disloyal and stuff you know untrustworthy the kevo that left me around all his jury he trusts me with his life more than he trusts his homies at this point you know what i'm saying when we was dealing with each other like he always could trust me. His door was always open to me, you know? I never did nothing shisty to him. Still haven't, you know? So you feel like basically all this, the root of all this is basically for money? Yes. That's why I said I can't, I'm, I'm so much happier not dealing with him because I can't be with a person that will do anything for money because you never know what you're going to get out of him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you never know. All right, so now I got another question. What? Who got the BBL first? You or him? <laughs> I knew he was gonna act something crazy because he had a smirk. <laughs>